everyone, you're watching Ash on Comics. My name is Ash. Here's today's comic, Heroes in Crisis number 5, with the alternate cover, Jason Todd getting murdered by the Joker. Um, it's really glossy, as you can see. Sorry about that, but um, I really like these covers thematically. They're not really dynamic, but having nine of them, you know, with all these different points in DC history, kind of goes with this theme and the original covers suck. Uh, the first issue was okay, but every issue since has just been like, what is the deal? Here you can see, like, is the actual A cover. And it's Superman. Looks like he's chastising people. Like, this just looks wrong. Um, <sighs> furthermore, this never happens in the book. So, at first I was like, oh, geez, what am I in for, a groan? And then I read the book, and it's like, oh, this doesn't actually happen. Um, this is Comixology, by the way, if you're not familiar with it. Uh, I use it a lot for trade paperbacks that save a ton of money. I'm no, I don't make any money. I'm not shilling for the site. Um, but they've got this Batman flash sale right now, presumably for the upcoming crossover, up to 80% off books. And you can see a lot of these, you know, books that are normally, you know, these ones are 13 bucks or like five. But even the big ones that are, you know, expensive, like this one's normally uh, $29.99, it's five bucks. Uh, so tons of Batman books, tons of Flash books, oh, there's a lot of stuff. And I really recommend if you want like your backlog reading and you want to save money, this is the way to go. I mean, a little bit more than a comic book, same price as an annual <laughs> And you can get some really good stuff. This is how I'm catching up with the um, Rebirth era. And maybe also some additional... Like, I think I'm going to start getting Flash. Like, I got Flash, the first two issue, or first two volumes of Flash. So I'm going to start uh, learning more and just getting more educated and invested in the DC Universe. But back to why you're actually here. Um, that's, oh, real quick. Oh, oh never mind. Speaking of uh, Crisis on Infinite Earth, where are we going? So I couldn't really remember what happened last issue. So I watched the end of my last video and I was like, oh yeah. Superman went and told the world. Oh, actually Lois told the world and Superman just sort of kept it from everyone. So here we start out with Booster Gold. And these, I'm not really opposed to these nine panel, like, into the camera shots. But they're getting old. And they're just not... Good. This is a grown fest. So this one starts off with Booster Gold, and he's like, "Can't see very well. I got me a smudge from all time Batman killing himself in front of me because of something I did. It was a whole thing. Anyway, don't panic. The smudge is not real. No one seems to see it. Even I don't like see it. But like, I sort of see it." <laughs> Alright, look, I know it's not there, but the glass is beautifully clear. It's perfect. It's just like, oh, gross. He just goes on and on and on, and then, you know, last thing he says, blood in the way. You're just like, what? what's the point of reading that? But then you get this huge splash, two-page splash by Clay Man, which is, they're almost always really good. They kind of set this tone in the scene, and here you see Booster, who was broken out of, uh, not really prison, but he was kind of under arrest uh, by his buddy here, the real Blue Beetle. You can see heroes in crisis. It's not super clear. The heroes is pretty good. I thought that was kind of clever. Um, and then we kick into. Um, plug my phone there. So you got the story. I got it. The idea, the move, and then in the background you hear the news. We're waiting for comments from the justice. Justice League on the Daily Planet's report of a mass casualty event at a secret superhero facility. Yeah? Flash! We go to see Barry in his lab. He'll have all the clues by now. We knock him out, steal the clues, solve the mystery. WWBD. Uh, I don't know what that means. Uh, my millennial speak is rusty. If anyone can clue me in on that, that would be helpful. What? That's literally the dumbest move. You literally already did that. So, Beatles is on. Yeah, exactly, but what's a better idea than the same idea? And they have some kind of funny banter, and it's like, 
so they won't see it coming. Uh, they'll never think of the dumbest move, but I will. I just did. Dude, I know. Clink. So then we get another nine panel boring blah 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 blah. He's, you know, these are, they're really pointless. There's only been a few of those panels that I, or a few of those nine panel pages that I thought like actually contributed to the story at all. So here we see Batman walking forward with, uh, oh, I forget what this guy's name is. Um, <sighs> not a beetle, big, big blue beetle person. But anyways, blue beetle's little robot sidekick. He's been checked. He checked me. Then we got Batgirl. Why he needs to confide, like, to Batgirl, like, you, do you answer to her now? And she's like, I figured, but I already put together this whole system back at my place. It's a new way to reconfigure 24th century algorithms. Got it configured at my place. And if I could just get a second with Skeets, that's his name, at my place, on this rig, we may find... Maybe he doesn't even know something he knows something he knows. That might help. Find Booster. <sighs> really? No. If anyone's going to find anything, it's him. Not you. Him. It won't hurt, will it? Fine. Will it? Fine? Really? Cool. That's cool, Batman. You rock. Look at this... Is any time like the picture not mashed up with does it look like she's going like really fine cool that's really cool like it's just like this looks like one of those like half hearted poses like eh lift up my thumbs meh <laughs> whatever contact me if something was missed super and a woman or woman are making a statement to the media about sanctuary great I mean great but shouldn't you also be doing that aren't you Trinity essential. I'm Batman. I don't do press. Which she should know. But whatever. <laughs> it doesn't look like Tom King doesn't know. And then here we get non screwed up Clark and Lois. Non bendisified. Uh, she's trying to get him to come to bed. And he's talking like, I can hear him. They're scared of us. And the sole problem is he doesn't like that society is fearing them because of the sanctuary thing and that. If superheroes are broken inside, like in the head, if they have mental issues, you know, they're mentally disturbed, if they got PTSD or whatever, all these issues, like, that's a common political thing, right? It's like, do we give guns to vets who come back from the war and they're all, like, scattershot from PTSD? Like, that's a big political thing. And I feel like that's what this is happening here. And it's like, well, what about Superman with mental issues? And he gets triggered and just goes off, like, so the world's scared, and that's what this book is seeming to come around to be about. Um, and then we get another worthless oh, solstice. Power's coming in. There, I did it, I told you. No, I, I tried. Ah. Does nothing to the story. Nothing. Wasted. It's a whole page. <sighs> Stupid. And then Skeets. Is this your place? I use it sometimes it's quiet. And you keep your system here? I do. Uh, I see. May I inquire where the system is? I'm the system. You're the system? Sure, I figure you have some secret way of tracking Booster, blah, 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 blah. So she's going to strong arm him. She's doing this thing. And she's like, I don't see why this is any relevance. It's like, but I guess the question is then, am I good? Because she's talking about Batman's good. So Batman would only go so far to a robot. I don't think so. Um, she's like, am I good? Maybe. I don't know. I try to be. But I don't think she tries after all. So Barbara Gordon, who tries to be good, <laughs> is in collaboration with a psychopath mass murderer. <sighs> oh, his face palm. And then she does her little skeeter, skeeter, parking meter. Had a secret, tried to keep her. He told Girl Bat he'd never tell, so Harley sent him straight to hell. And she's got her big mallet. And it's, you know, beautifully illustrated by Clay Mann. If there's, <laughs> you can't complain about this. Um, 
And then he's just like, oh, shit. Which was kind of cute, like, but it just doesn't fit the tone of the book. Um, and then we get back to interesting story. Now, so this first half of the book is just grown fast. At this point, I'm like, thumbs down. This book is everything that everyone's talking about. I was like, what is, what is Tom King doing? Why is Batgirl right, helping Harley Quinn? Like, this is, should be a Batgirl villain. It, just stupid. And then going against Batman just doesn't seem right to me. And so now we're at Flash doing his thing. It's like, and then Booster breaks in. Bazam! Hey, Barry, how's the whole mystery solving? Did I do it? Booster! And this is a really cool shot. He just, like, zooms forward, uppercuts. And man, this just shows like why Clay Man was one of the best in the business. Let's look at that panel. So um, he's like, "Don't move! I won't if you won't." What? And then he zaps him, tricked him, knocks him out. It worked! <laughs> it worked, Ted! Holy shit, it worked! And uh, oh, here we get another completely worthless nine-page panel. <laughs> Stupid! Literally, this is—it's nothing. It, this is literally nothing. Now we got Superman in one room and consulting with a press conference, which I just think this is so out of place. Like, these heroes... I, I feel like maybe this might be realistic if heroes did really exist, but I don't feel like this is realistic in comic world. But Superman is like, we have prepared a statement we, uh, that we'd like to make. It won't be long. Actually, it's pretty long. And then he goes off to rattle off, and this is like this... What you see in the movies a lot, um, very common thing where a big s speech is made. Uh, Independence Day is a good example of this, where they do the whole, when Bill Pullman gives this whole speech, we will not go quietly into the night, blah, 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 you know, like, this speech hearkened of that. And I have to admit, at first I was like, oh, this is trope. You know, it's like, there was an incident at a facility in which a number of our people were killed, brave men and women dedicated to their lives and service. Uh, who had done everything in their power, within their power, to help those in need. These noble souls are now forever lost. Allow me to assure you we are using every means at our disposal, blah, blah, blah. So he starts off just kind of explaining to the world what happened and what's going on. And then the voiceover goes over actual scenes where Booster and Blue Beetle are investigating. And Beetle's like, or Booster's like, do you see it? And Beetle's like, no, and I'm Beetle, and you're Booster, which means if I don't see it, you don't see it. He's like, I see it. I don't know anything, but I know some things, you know, <laughs> like heroes. I know about heroes at the museum. I memorize them. I even know their birthdays. A place we call Sanctuary. We have, and why we have it kept out of the public's eyes, and Superman's still going. Um, he's, and they're back and forth, and they're cutting, you know, the monologue. And uh, it's a place... Where those who, where those who live their lives ensconced in violence may seek a moment's peace, where those who have absorbed the lasting blows of that life of violence may seek to find a moment to heal. And then, it's your birthday, and now it's like you know he's talking over, and this goes on for a while, like the speech, you know, are we somehow unworthy of your trust? Blah 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 blah. Does that mean all of you should be afraid? Um, and he, it, it picks up towards the end, the speech, where he's talking about basically like, um, no, I'm not there yet. So then we cut over to Harley and, and Batgirl. She's like, remember, you promised. You worry too much, girl bat. I won't kill him. I'll just murder him. That's the same thing, Har. What? Really? No. Yes, it is absolutely. <laughs> Superheroing. I tell you. You learn something new every day. Wah, 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 wah. Um, and then Superman's like, you know, I have endeavored to be worthy of that highest honor. Because he's talking about himself. I guess I should re say that one. You have accepted an alien as your friend in the greatest joy of my life. And I have, I have continued to, sorry, and I have tried to continue to earn that friendship every day, every second. And I have endeavored to be worthy of that highest honor. The label some have kindly, very kindly given me that of hero. Um, let me get this really freaking cool, like, dragon. I don't know who this character is. I'm sure some of you do. It's my DC nubness. And I have seen the time and again of my colleagues, my super friends, 
These true heroes, bearing this same marvelous burden, engaged in the same endless struggle. I have watched persons from every country, every background, rise with power to battle the worst evils. And he's like going on, you know, though you break my body, I will stand. And like, he's talking about the sacrifices they make and they don't give up. And it's really just like gets some passion towards the end. Um, uh, he's like, where? It's like, though you bring my death, I will live. This is my home. It is my care. And though you seek its destruction, I am here. And today, today, by God, I will not fall. Cool shot of Aquaman there. Damn straight, buddy. You won't fall. Um, so, then he wraps it up his speech. And he's like, what you must know, what you must understand. I know what most of you understand. What you have to... God, Jesus, this is a word mess. What you must know, what you must know, what I most want you to understand, what you have to understand is that they do this in full knowledge of the pain they will incur, the scars that they will collect, the, and he kind of pauses, the, Wonder Woman's given emotional support, the nightmares, the nightmares they will endure, forever endure. Which I thought this is, this part got a little overboard sappy, and I think some people have aren't going to like that with the way this is going. So, yes, Sanctuary exists. He's explaining. And then we see this rose wash up on the shore. And someone comes by. Uh, it says, the sign of their, a sign of their love of truth, their hunger for justice, and their fight for the American way. And I was like, oh, modern DC, you said that? Sweet. Good run you. And then someone picks up that rose. Dad, I'm telling you, this body, this, this Wally... He's five days too old. And then Superman, thank you. And then we cut over. Hey, Bootsy, I hear, I'm here to massacre you. No harm, massacre, still kill. Um, ah, come on. Is anything not kill? Thanks for listening. Thank you. And then we get Harley. This, the, this Harley one was actually pretty good. Uh, she just she says a joke. So, Mr. J said, why did the chicken cross the road? And I said, duh, to get to the other side. And he said, no, to get to the moron's house. Then he said, knock, knock. And I said, who's there? And he said, the chicken. And I was like, that's kind of a funny joke. I wonder if uh, King made that up. She's just like, looking to the side, looking to the side. Then he started hitting me. He hit me good. Yes, because he's a psychopathic m meat killer. And you are a psychopathic killer. That's how it is. It's not nice. That's how villains are. And you portray that villain you are. That's your role in the story. Um, so, that's this comic. It starts off really shitty. And wraps up really cool. And at the end, you find out there's something going on with Wally. The, the Wally that's dead is five days too old. Uh, and you're like, what, what does that make sense, Ash? Well, I didn't read you all the dialogue in the story, but... Booster is talking to um, Blue Beetle, and he communicates to him, "Look, I know the Time Police, and I know how to like how they check for cheating in time and all blah 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 blah." And, he, and he's like, "I know the signatures and how they can tell cheating essentially." So that's what he's getting to is he uses that knowledge and everything, and looks at the finds out that Wally is not the correct Wally in the time, and so. Now you're just wondering, wait a second, is Wally actually dead? So, maybe not. And maybe we can actually enjoy the story without DC just offing Wally in the stupidest way possible. So this book ended really cool. That Superman speech, I didn't read all of it, I just read bits of it too, so it's not as impactful as it was. And I really mumbled through it, so I apologize. <laughs> Uh, sometimes it's hard, like, to hold the camera and make sure you're looking. I'm, like, eyes back and forth, make sure the shot, I'm, I got, like, the right panel and I'm trying to read. So it really makes it difficult. Um, and then I start stuttering over my words. And God help me if I actually try to read through the camera because the camera, like, shakes just just so slightly. Anyways. Um, so that's Heroes in Crisis. Um, longer than I wanted to be. The review, I apologize. But thanks for sticking with me so far. Um if you haven't been sold by the series thus far, I'm not sure if this book will, but maybe it's enough to intrigue you and I'll, I'll get you the next book. 
if you're thinking about dipping out on the series like Bats, this might be the book that pulls you back in and says, wait, 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 don't dip out just yet. That's where it's at. I really still think that the issue number one is fantastic, and it's been a rocky road since. This started off, I would say this would be the best issue, but that first half was just like, what is the point? I don't like how Tom King is not getting some of the characters right in my personal opinion, but what are you going to do? Um, that was it. Thanks for watching, and as always, put your comments down, personal feedback. Uh, I always like to know what you think, how I can make the show better, and uh, I'll see you again.